They're under millions of Christmas trees right now, just raring to go as soon as a lucky kid tears open the wrapping. Hot Wheel cars have been delighting children and many adults for over a half a century since Mattel introduced them back in 1968. This morning, Jamie Yukas gives us a rare look inside the place they're designed. This is where the number one best-selling toy in the world comes to life. An entire section of Mattel dedicated to Hot Wheels. Here's a Hot Wheels muscle car, uh, Hot Wheels supercar, Hot Wheels um, you know, classic race car, race truck, and then this is like a drifting truck. Designer Brian Benedict takes an idea and turns it into this, a Hot Wheels die-cast car, 64 times smaller than a regular car. If you could have dreamt up a job when you were a kid, was this it? Well, yeah, literally. Even when I was a kid, you know, I mean, Hot Wheels was my introduction to cars, right? I actually remember writing a letter when I was eight to Hot Wheels and suggesting, like, different cars they should do. And you so, did? Yeah, yeah. Today, Benedict works with a team of designers, all with a background in the automotive industry creating these unique designs. This is really your fantasy and what you get to have fun with. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have partnerships with all the car companies um, and we do authentic replications, but with a little bit of a Hot Wheels spin, right? So we don't just do a regular Nissan Patrol. We do like a amped up, you know, overlanding kind of patrol. Sometimes um, the color is probably a little yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, we do wild, wild graphics, that sort of thing. Rooted in car culture and driven by authenticity, Hot Wheels is still able to create that element of fantasy. And sometimes we go really crazy um, by doing a donut car. <laughs> so we brought in donuts because a lot of times the guys will bring in donuts or whatever. And, and we were sitting eating donuts and we're like, oh, this would make a cool car. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sometimes yeah. it's just whatever yeah, is in yeah, front yeah. of you. Exactly. Yeah. So we're inspired by everything, you know, not just car culture, but the, the world around us. I like what you've done over here. The idea starts with a sketch. Then the sculptor will create a digital model and print it out. Once approved, it goes to development engineers in Asia. We have done about close to 30 of what really? we call the Garage of Legends cars. Roberto Stanichi is the senior vice president, global head of vehicles for Mattel. We always challenge convention. So if you think about a Hot Wheels car, it's not just any car. There's something unexpected about that car. If you think about a Hot Wheels track, there's something unexpected about that track. There's, there's an element of how fast can you go? Can you make that jump? Are you gonna be able to do that loop? And that's what really keeps kids of all ages engaged with the brand for so long. <laughs> Stanichi got this big kid re-engaged with the brand by letting me play with the giant speed loop in the lobby. I'm launching a truck. Oh! <laughs> Turns out, other women are getting just as excited about the toys these days. There used to be an idea that Barbie was for girls and you'd buy that for the girls and Hot Wheels were for boys. Has that changed over the years? Yes, for sure. We know today from research that about a quarter of the Hot Wheels owners are actually uh, girls. And actually when you look at adults, uh, that number is even higher of women buying Hot Wheels for themselves as collectors. It's about a third. I'm surprised it's a third. Yeah. It has to do with, with that passion for car culture. Hot Wheels is one of the best ways that people have to just showcase their love for, for a car. The original set of Hot Wheels consisted of just 16 cars and was intended for kids. New Hot Wheels, only from Mattel. Most of the cars cost just a buck, but the highly collectible cars can fetch on the secondary market for several thousand dollars, with some valued as much as six figures. Hot Wheels was never about just old, you know, boring play. It's always been about speed. It's always been about performance. And they perform well. Mattel sells 16.5 Hot Wheel cars every second around the world. The evolution of the brand also now includes other play. This area back here is Tracks and Playsets area. Paul Schmidt is a playset designer. How did you come up with this design? Uh, this is a collaboration, like most of our sets here, of a lot of the different designers back here. And we just wanted to come up with something crazy that we hadn't done before. <laughs> it's, I would love if that was my job, come up with something crazy. That, that's what we do all day long, is try to think of something that no one else has done before. Oh, yes, I defeated him! And while taking down dragons and racing new tracks is really fun, Schmidt's job 
is actually really difficult. One of the things that people don't understand, there's a lot of math and engineering that goes behind these because that little 164 scale car has no steering, no suspension, and no driver. And it has to perform on crazy sets like this. Math, engineering, physics, a lot of physics for a, a set like this to get all this to work. People don't think about that when they're playing with no. these. And it's a very important part of our design process. The brand continues to race into the future with new innovations and no plans of slowing down. We're always adding more elements of fun. So before you had one crash, now you have three crashes, now you have five, now you have an upside down crash, now the crash is in the air. And those different ways of playing just have kept generations and generations engaged. And that evolves beyond toys as well with video games and different live events and different ways that people can, can experience the brand. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Jamie Yukis, El Segundo, California. I totally get why so many women are so into Hot Wheels. I was, I never had a set, but I always played with my friends. Didn't you? Uh, I, you know, I think now is when we start doing that because I didn't really grow up playing with Hot Wheels as much, but You're I, about see, to right I now. see the fun. I For see the, the fun For the CBS Saturday Morning Grand Prix. Okay, okay. Right, so okay. What, You're no, the rest. Be careful because... This, these roads come together, the, the opposite of the frost poem, right? This is not, oh. So, yeah, you, you don't want to crash here. Okay. okay. There's, so no, there's, there's no strategy. divergence. Right. There's a convergence. Well, that's, okay. the, that's the engineering. Um, right. And the winner is the first one to okay. get your car down okay. here. Okay. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Did, did anyone win? <laughs> you broke the set. <laughs> oh my heavens. There's what a, lot just, of this. a lot of power. This is why I used to have a hard time with Hot Wheels. Yeah, well, I was a little too rough together. on it. Oh wow. my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, Where did it go? Here. We will right, fix it on. so we don't know who won, do we? <laughs> well, no, because you threw your car across. I think you may have DQ'd. <laughs> you, you qualified. I may, I may have won. I didn't. <laughs> I completely blew it. I oh like my. This how it works, though. It's like yeah, kind no. of a cool little. Well, and I just I love the fact that there are so many high tech yeah, games went. these days, and people and children still gravitate towards these. There we go. Wonderful Hot Wheels.